some truth for you. I got some truth for you. And it's going to sting. It's going to sting because it involves your people. And that's what you claim is most dear to your heart. My family. My people. How can you guys even say that? How can you consistently say it's all about family? But show up as an embarrassment to your family. Physically. A straight up embarrassment. Financially. A straight embarrassment. Who in their right mind continually engages in workout routines and diets and never gets in top tier shape? An embarrassment. Who in their right mind wakes up every single day and chases the almighty dollar but never truly gets ahead? An embarrassment. It's okay though. I learned my greatest lessons when I was embarrassed. So guess what? Let it sting. Let it sting and then change it. Because homeboy, if you ain't attracted to you when you look in the mirror, if you don't walk around knowing you're a stud, then she don't think that about you either. You ain't attractive to her if you ain't attractive to you. And you're an embarrassment to them if you're an embarrassment to you. So what am I trying to tell you? Your whole world, your life, the, the universe around you is all a creation, is all a manifestation of how you view you. So the world is not as it is. The world is as you are. And people take shape and are attracted to what you are truly within you. No lie, what you've created, the story that you've told yourself with action, the actual events and culmination of who you are up until this moment, the thoughts, actions, and energy that you've consistently used to habitually construct you. So how, how are you gonna wake up tomorrow and not adhere to your physical form. If you know there is unattractive qualities about your physique in a world full of people who are trying to force knowledge down your throat, in an area that you have a lot of pain, how are you so stubborn? How can you just denounce this? How do you think the pain will go away? If you've ever thought you wanted something in your life, this is how powerful the mind is. If you've ever, ever thought you wanted something, it never leaves you. It'll never leave you. So guess what? If you don't attain that, it will just haunt you the rest of your life. When I was about 11, 12, 13, I looked at the bodybuilding books, Arnold Encyclopedia. I knew I had to be jacked to be happy. And then as I started to get older, I was wish-washy with my workout routines from like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Before I went to prison, I would work out, but my diet was subpar because I was chasing money and chasing women and chasing that life. I wasn't fully committed to me. I was chasing money, women, that life. Now that I've fully committed to me, all those things come to me. Do you see how it works? You never chase anything. Create the best you and let it come to you. If you fear losing anything in this life, it actually controls you. So if you're in a relationship and you're letting your physical appearance decline, you're letting your financial status just ruin you due to lack of adherence to people who are above you in the financial department that are trying to give you advice, you guys, that fear that you're going to lose your partner is causing them to lead. Now, are they a su sufficient leader? No. I've been this way before and I look back and I laugh. I know I've always been the leader. So that's why every day I force the dialogue about myself with action. I need you guys to get up every day and tell yourself who the fuck you are with action, there's no other way 
Confidence is a contract you sign with yourself. I know a lot of you guys are starting to think about it. I got to do something this year. It's just how you guys operate. It's like the fucking calendar matters. And I hate this cliche shit because I peeled back so many fucking calendars in the penitentiary and I still haven't missed a day. Why would I miss a day of something that's so beneficial? Why would I miss a day of something that has no downside? Why would I miss a day when I'm smart enough to realize I can't live my best life without trying to look and feel my best? You'll never feel your best if you don't try to look your best. And life is about feeling your best and giving your best the best energy you can to all the people around you. I'm telling you guys, your life is an offering to the world. And if you live a subpar life, you're a subpar offering. And if the offering that you bring to your family is subpar, then you did your fucking family dirty. Do you get that? Do you get that? A lot of people will look at and the intensity in a motherfucker like me. And they'll think, oh man, like, you got to be more calm and that's, they tell you that. Do you guys get that? They indoctrinate that in you. The strongest guy in the room is the quietest. No, he ain't, bitch. Not at all. Not at fucking all. The, the guy who's, who's real calm and collective, that's the guy. No, it isn't. Since fucking when? I've never seen that. That motherfucker who will go take what he wants, he always has to have a fucking voice. He always stands the fuck up. Not just sitting in the fucking back. Do you guys fucking get that they told you that? So that your weak ass traits that are keeping you in the same position, you'll glorify? Yeah, I'm supposed to be all quiet in the back and passive. No, motherfucker. They told you that on purpose. You guys need to be more savage. You guys need to be more demanding. People in this life, the universe doesn't hand you what you beg and plead for and wish for and thought. The universe gives you what you demand with action. Do you get this? Wake up and demand the life you want with action. I'm not saying be rude. No one is being rude. It's more rude to be around people who are failing, who do have shortcomings, and you don't vocalize that. True friends tell the ugly truth to your face and speak about you good behind your back. Most of you motherfuckers do the opposite. Oh no, it's okay, Karen. You look good with that extra 40 pounds on you. Then behind her back, oh, that bitch got fat as fuck. She's burnt. Fucking Tim's gonna leave her. That's how most of you motherfuckers are. But your friend Wes, he wants you to win. So he's gonna tell you, that ain't the fucking life. And I'll show you how. I've shown plenty how. I've brought motherfuckers from out of shape, alcoholics whose financials were failing to ripped, rich, rare motherfuckers. If you haven't seen my testimonials that I do for individuals, most people hop on my mid-level program and I just get them fit first. Then I teach them to do what I did, which is the most congruent path a human can take. Once they've healed themselves, I teach them to heal others. There is no better investment than healing all this pain you have within. Pain from being overweight, pain from consumption of vices, alcohol, drugs, all the above. Pain from those negative thoughts because you know you're not living up to your highest potential. All the pain that you have, you must heal and then teach others to do the same. I've made many individuals very financially successful from teaching them to heal themselves and then teaching them to teach others the same, heal others. I love you guys. I'm on this path, this path of truth that's gonna trigger a few, get you to stand up and change. Most will hate me at first, but then once they make the change, they'll be like, God, that motherfucker does love people and he will stand in the way. If you're not standing in the way of people who are ruining themselves, you're a fucking selfish asshole. I love you guys. Let's go.